today we're going head to head, Walmart versus Target Edition. We're gonna be finding the best gaming PC or just gaming PC device, whether it's a laptop or a desktop, and we're gonna be shopping at Target. We're gonna be shopping at Walmart and see which one's the best option. But before we dive into today's video, let's hear more from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by our friends over at Fazebo. Fazebo sent over their triple motor, L-shaped standing desk, and let me tell you, it has some pretty awesome features. Starting with the light strip, this desk comes with a seven color adjustable light strip with speed and brightness adjustability that attaches to the desk, and it's powered by the embedded multi-plug power outlet that screws into the desk, which has two traditional outlets, one USB 2.0 and a USB Type-C. This desk comes in a carbon fiber material, which is sleek and perfect for gamers to bring their gaming setup to the next level. And if carbon fiber isn't your thing, you can choose from three other finishes on the website. With a 330 pound weight limit, you can comfortably fit everything you need for your gaming setup and work setup on the desk. Like the best standard desk out there too, you get a digital height display with three customizable height buttons to allow for just one press of a button from one height to the next. And I love using standing desks because they help me stay productive during those lazy work days and help with my posture while I'm sitting. Along with a five-year warranty, free shipping, and a 60-day free return policy, Fazebo has some awesome Black Friday deals up to 60% off this season, so if you want to go check those out, click the links in the description down below and get yourself a desk today. Big thanks to Fazebo for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get back to the video. We're on the way to Walmart and Target. Serving it up Gary's way. Um, so we're going to Walmart and then Target, or vice versa. We're gonna go try to buy gaming PCs from both. Will it happen? I don't know. Um, you guys see this magnificent creation? The yeah, Walmart the and the Target. And the Target apartments. You almost can't tell the difference. Jonah, I think you should put in a job application at Target. I'm not saying why, but I think you should. <laughs> so yeah, they used to bro. be like, bro. <laughs> Do you guys have computers? Yeah. yeah. What we got for gaming laptops? You can pull them out if you want to look at yeah. them. We actually don't have a whole lot of gaming stuff. MSI Pulse GL66. We can look up this model like and see what we have. Hey, didn't we do this one recently? So we're checking to see what this actually is. 949 dollars uh, 30 Yeah, 15 by 16 inch. It's an i5 NVIDIA GeForce 3050. I can't even tell you which i5 it is. That's, that one's a 1650 with an i5 for $899. Oh. These are third party deals, all right? Yeah. Oh, are they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh. we buy from them, then we sell them. Well, should we look at the, the normal, like the non-gaming ones? We can see if they have Maybe any like APU, like, Ryzen, like yeah. laptop ones, yeah. Yeah, definitely expensive. We'll go so far as to say it's pretty expensive. Um, Maybe these ones are less third party. Honestly, that might. No so Ryzen. So this i5 is 529, yeah, no Ryzen, which makes sense to me because I feel like I've never seen like people go to Target for gaming devices, but we're yeah. trying to be innovators here. You know, we're <laughs> trying to stretch beyond. We're trying to show Target that, that you guys could do this. And we're testing their theft protection systems. So. <laughs> I think our best bet is getting one of these them. and just seeing what the Iris graphics can do. Because like $900 for a 1650 laptop. The, the, see, it's like, it's like we could just buy it and we know what it'll do, but it's like for that price, like we will never get anywhere near that money back. Hey, because there's some other ones. Uh, like what is that well, Lenovo? What's that Lenovo right there? 749. It's a laptop. <laughs> <laughs> it's a laptop. Just just so you know, it's a laptop. Yeah, it's expensive. This looks similar. I don't have a phone to look it up. Thin GF63 12VF. This one's which different. Could be anything. This one's the GF63 thin? Or is that what you just said? GF63 thin? Yeah, that's what yeah. I was saying. Oh wait, 609. Well, I don't know. I mean, it's this be. is part of the experiment if you think about it. We this just... says this says 609 to other places. So maybe this one will be kind of cheap. We price it. I mean, it's part of the experiment considering we said we're gonna walk out the street. Whatever they have is what they have, and we just see if one's better than the other. And so far, kind of seeing what we're seeing. Ooh, okay. for, this one's 899, Matt, and it's the 4050, 8 gigs of RAM. Is that an i5? Really that might actually be our best bet. That's our most that promising be, one. Yeah. yeah. Unless any of these Lenovo's just happen to, they don't really look gaming to me, though. For 899, so cool. this is better. 40, yeah. yeah, that one's cool because it's 40 series. Yeah. Okay. I guess we'll take that one. Yeah. I'll get you over there. We don't have to do any, any gift cards. <laughs> so what was that? I, we, it's an i5 of some kind. Of some and kind. 40, and a 4050. Don't press the button. You don't need help. Jordan, you, I know you need help, but don't press the button. Thank you, sir. Thank All you for right. helping us. Shout out to Kevin. Uh, so we're on the way to Walmart after getting robbed at Target. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I feel a little violated. It was a, li it was a little rough experience. And um, yeah, we're going to see if Walmart can do any better. Now, uh, I, I, I think that we're going to find um, desktops and laptops at Walmart. But I'm kind of debating, like, I guess we're just trying to get whatever we think is the best bang for buck. Okay, welcome to the tech section. More. We made it. I already see Corsair products. We're off to a great start. They got Corsair. They got, I think, is it Razer? Which would be a <laughs> way better deal if we go the laptop route. Uh, Ew, but yeah, but what is this, though? Because that says $8.99. That's, that's a nut. That would be the same price as at Target. It's saying there's a CyberPower PC with a 6700 and Ryzen 5. Oh. It's for you, buddy. 
So since our only option at Target was to get a laptop, it's gonna come with screen and everything, we'll be good to go. Ideally, we wanted to do all desktops, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is get this desktop, if they do have it, $699 out the gate. It probably comes with a basic keyboard and mouse, if we're being honest, it's a CyberPower pre-built. Is it $799? So if that is $699 and we get that, then we'll factor in like getting a monitor or whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking just for the sake of the video, we'll just get the tower here, and we'll have the tower and the laptop, and we really don't need to show you guys benchmarks because we obviously know what's going to happen, <laughs> but we're going to show you anyways when we bring everything back. So far, it's been a much better experience as long as they come out with our tower. That's always the tough part about Walmart. Because we do a lot of videos here, they're very difficult about like actually getting products for you. Thank, Thank you, you very you. much. You too. Yeah. It's heavy, actually. It is. Uh, that away. Ow. We actually got a pretty good deal. CyberPower PC with an ARC 6700, <laughs> Ryzen 5 5500, 16 gigs of RAM, and it was $699. Honestly, a significantly better deal than yeah. Target. Uh, way better. Target is a little sus. We're gonna take this back to the HQ after a important Taco Bell break. Um, <laughs> and then we will uh, benchmark these things and see what we got. So we're back and this is our conveyable laptop from Target. We spent over $900, 900 bucks, on yeah. I, what I believe is a 40 50 laptop? Is yeah. That, yeah. 4050, and we don't even know what CPU it has. That was one thing that Target did not do a good job of is actually like labeling uh, what they had. And it's funny because they didn't even have these on display. Like you would have never known they even had gaming laptops. So it's almost like they don't want you to buy them, but they have them there. I'm really hoping it's something like that. Wow, is this like it's like a 12th Gen i5 yeah. with like hyper threading? And it is a 12th Gen i5. So we got the 12450H, a CPU we're very familiar with. We just spent a lot more to get a 4050 that I hope performs a lot better. We spent $400 to get a 4050. Who knows, maybe that'll mean much better performance or maybe it'll mean it's almost the same. But as you can see, we get the laptop here. It's pretty clean looking. And we've looked at a lot of these. I need my money now. Yeah, I just, I don't know. It, it, it just hurts me. I mean, we had we, we had one goal. We told ourselves, no matter what was that target, we were gonna get something that could game. And it just yeah. hurts. It just hurts. It'll definitely game. It will. So 120 watt power supply um, on the, uh, let's have Zach make a lot of clutter for theirs. <laughs> on the left side of the laptop, we have our charging port, a USB 3. We actually have just an HDMI in the back, which is nifty, I guess. We have two audio ports. We actually have a uh, audio in and audio out, which is really cool. Two USB 3s, a USB Type C, Ethernet full size, Kingston lock. Let's see what the inside looks like. I'm already leaving fingerprints on mm, it. Fingerprints. Yes. It looks very similar to the other MSI laptops we've seen. But I think is it, it gonna be white backlight or red? I think this is the exact same model. Yeah. Because it has upgrade. the same power button and everything with a 4050. Does it say DDR4? It is DDR4. Oh. Uh, Man, that sucks. Yeah, for yeah. that price, like, you would really hope we got more upgrades besides just the 4050. It, I'd be curious to see what this is sold elsewhere, like other places. I would imagine it's like a $700 laptop in other places. More reasonably. More reasonable. Uh, but even then, our friendly rep at Target says, Target's about quality. <laughs> Target's about that high quality. I mean, hey, it's on open, it seems like, and I bet it works, right? Walmart, that's not a guarantee. Walmart, you might get one that's been returned. But um, yeah, we're gonna let this thing turn on and then we'll just, we'll make sure we got what we actually paid for. And then my laptop, I'm just used to this being a laptop. We're gonna put that desktop that we got from Walmart. I'm actually excited to see how that looks. All right, we're gonna open our CyberPower PC and I love the name. It's the GMA 6800 WST, but it has a 6700 in it. And uh, if you guys <laughs> notice this, it's been sitting. It's been sitting for a little bit, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. This is pretty typical for some of these Walmart computers. It was on rollback, which means it's been sitting in the back for a while. It's funny to me that they don't put these out front more. I mean, they had that little thing right there, and if you didn't ask somebody for it, they probably wouldn't have gotten it for you. Um, it's especially funny because like this is probably one of the best deals we've like ever seen at Walmart besides that one time we got like it wasn't even a gaming computer but yeah. remember the Acer that we got yes. and that just happened to be like we were in the right place at the right time and the right person scanned the code for us. Yeah so it's very interesting with Walmart and yes we did get a keyboard and is there a mouse up there? Uh, I think it fell. Did it fall? Keyboard and mouse. So we have options here. Let's take a look at that. The Elite M1 130. I actually feel this. It's like not bad. Is it, you know what it's like? It's like Steel Series. It's like a honestly, it's just very, yeah, it does actually have oh, yeah, removable weights, weights in it. <laughs> this is, honestly, this is a pretty big step up for a uh, included peripheral set. The keyboard's probably gonna be membrane and stuff. I think the computer might actually have uh, a motherboard that has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth too. 
I will say it is membrane, but just feel it. Like you've you felt some of these keyboards before. Like has an coterie wheel. Like this is much better than some of the others we've seen. I mean, we are stepping into the high end pre built company territory. Cyber Power, iBuy Power, all of them been around for a very long time, so they got some good connections here. But yeah, it's pretty cool to see that, and I like the packaging. Like this cardboard foam combo. This is slowly becoming just a Cyber Power unboxing, honestly. Yeah, shout out Cyber Power, but we're it's gonna go ahead and open this up. All right, we are upside down currently. And as we mentioned, uh, we will like add up a cost of like a basic monitor and stuff just to compare to the target option. We just didn't feel the need to get a full setup while we were at Walmart, just yeah. enough to test the computer. Okay. Yeah, this thing is clean from the front. Yeah, we got like some red RAM. Uh, we have a Cooler Master cooler because they probably buy their uh, 5500s, like their AMD CPUs bend, so they don't come with a cooler. Uh, this thing uses two eight pins because we got a 6700 10 gig. Yep, so yep. just a normal uh, XFX card, nothing too crazy. And then look at that, EVJ 600 GD. That's actually an 80 plus gold power supply. It's, it's not just all bad. name brand stuff. I, I like this so far. And I then know. the Rams team group and SSD is Kingston. They're using like every brand they can find. Yeah. There is like no one brand in this system. That's pretty cool. I wonder what the cable manager looks like on the back. Someone did a good job. Uh oh, here we go. <laughs> whoever whoever oh my built this goodness. PC of Cyber Power, you guys, you guys Cyber need to Power. Little raise. Thanks. Cyber Power has definitely stepped it up. I will say with PC Bros, our PC selling business, we've had a lot of these like older Cyber Power and iBuy Power systems come in and they have not looked this good. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's just the competition or what. They've really had to step it up. I really think, because um, I know a lot of, I've actually seen people buying gaming PCs from Walmart and I think people, some people have slept on this one for sure. Yeah, um, so I guess we'll turn it on and see what the, the lighting looks like. Do not hook up until you remove the phone here. Phone, or what is this? Do not connect monitor here. Oh, see below. <laughs> it's a common problem here, plugging it in. And this the is, uh, is this in a PVA case? Because that's the PVS logo, right? That is a PVS logo. So it looks huh. like they have an, a PVA case. Are they trying to be like us? Dude, I'm it's, for the like, it's like almost nothing. This is, it's weird seeing Cyber Power. The only thing that has their brand on it is this logo in the front that's just like adhesive on. I just feel like that's like unlike these pre built companies. It's very unlike them. Maybe but that's yeah. why it's so cheap. I don't know. Maybe. We got, so yeah, we have four RGB fans. We'll see what that looks like. It has an LED button as well, so we can change that. But yeah, with the 6700, your entry level 1440p gaming for sure. So we've opened up the laptop. We've seen what we have there. We have the PC from Walmart. I guess we got to get some games installed on it and compare them and see which one was the best bang for the buck. So far, it is looking like the desktop, but we got to test it to make sure it actually works. All right, guys, we're playing Halo Infinite. We're currently on our Cyber Power PC. We got the FOV almost max 1080p, and we're on a medium preset. And we're just looking pretty good so far. Yeah, looking pretty dang good. We're in snipers because no oh other God. mode is playable, apparently. Sensitivity feels kind of. Okay. Oh, yeah, so far, I no. mean, we kind of expected a good experience with these specs. Um, I will say the system is pretty loud, but that's not the end of the world, I guess, if you did get into the BIOS, because this is an aftermarket board, you could probably adjust the fan curve a little bit. Yeah, obviously with the system, our biggest concern is running with that Gen 3 CPU. Um, it's not bad though, but there's probably gonna be some situations where there would be some stutter. Uh, for this test, we're only gonna be going with Halo, which is a more demanding esports title, and also we're gonna be playing uh, CS2. And we might see some stutters in CS2, but we'll see. Oh. God, get over here. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Put your shotgun away. Oh, God. I can head glitch too, nerds. Oh. Go ahead, make me the last, the last kill. They need one more. Put him out of his misery. Thank you. <laughs> and guess who? AG's online. AG's I, I, you know what? I'm just glad it wasn't a shotgun in my face, man. <laughs> I'm just glad this PC works. I mean, yeah. so far the performance is good. Let's see what we can do in CS2. All right, guys, we are on the CyberPower PC playing CS2 on medium settings. I'll go ahead and show <laughs> you guys to confirm medium settings, 1080p. And yeah, being next to this uh, computer, God, it is, uh, it's loud, but we're getting 100 plus FPS, kind of what I expected in CS2. The main reason I tested this game, well, even 200 times, is I just want to see if there was going to be like a micro stutter issue with the Gen 3. But so far, no issues there. The only issues is me trying to hit Fat Mango with my op. But yeah, I mean, it's kind of cool that we were able to find, honestly, a really good deal on a PC at Walmart. I was expecting to get an okay deal just walking off the street and trying to find a PC, but we got a deal that I think is very competitive, even outside of Walmart standards. Um, it's just kind of just sad we had to pay as much as we had to pay for a uh, laptop from Target, but 
you know, well, we're going to give it a shot. We're going to give Target a fair shot with the benchmarks, and we're going to see what it can do. And uh, maybe it does compete pretty closely. And I guess, what would you say is the value of um, a monitor at Walmart? You said it was like $99 or something yeah, like, like that. Yeah, like 100 bucks to get you a higher refresh rate when it seemed like. Yeah, so if you bought the monitor, you got the keyboard mouse it came with, um, and you get the PCs. We paid $700. So you're about 800 bucks, so about $100 less than the laptop. So it just depends if the laptop is... Um, an essential a, need for yeah, you. Yeah, an essential need. Some people over exaggerates <laughs> what is happening oh no dude no. this is going crazy knife knife oh, uh, God. oh he was opting to wait what was that not it was a deagle it might have been a deagle a lot of people think like give me a collateral for that they need a uh, laptop when they really don't and they don't just don't use the portability as much as they might think so yeah i it's one of those things where i think if you're already like con like if you're already using a laptop and you realize you're using it every day and you're like, oh, I'd like to put a game. That's a perfect use case for someone that needs a laptop that can yeah. game. Oh, oh. Bears, oh. Eats. that'll start to life. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm ready to go from this big screen to tiny screen. Is the big screen really making us much better, though? You remember how the ops were going yesterday? <laughs> the ops were going good. Today, not nearly as good. It just takes a laptop, that's what I need. Oh, oh, 10 seconds, one more up kill. Let's go. But yeah, guys, Cyberpower PC runs popular titles, no problem whatsoever. Uh, what we're gonna do is switch to the laptop, which value for money, putting it out there. Not super impressed with this so far, but we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna play the same games in the same settings, and we're gonna see what we can get, and then make our determination on which one is the winner. All right, guys, we're playing Halo on the laptop. I'm nice and zoomed in right now so I can actually see what I'm doing. But uh, same settings, 1080p, medium preset, and we're at 110 FOV. Yeah, this one definitely seems... What were we getting before? Like we're getting like 150 to 160. So yeah, we're definitely FPS-wise a, a good amount lower. Which one thing I will say is the from the research we did, the 4050 seems like it's significantly better than something like the 2050. Like yeah. more than double the FPS in most games. So it is a pretty good like upgrade. Um, from from what we were seeing in terms of like price to performance, but Target's price to performance isn't great. No. It is a 144 hertz uh, screen too. It is. Okay. Yeah, so it has that going for it. That's good. We're running medium to match what we did on the CyberPower PC. I guess on low, you probably get closer to the 100 FPS, so. Oh yeah, for sure. So yeah, it's good. It's definitely a good laptop. It's just, you know, the price point, it's a little hit or miss. Especially yeah. with the single channel memory for sure. I, I think it was closer to like that, that um, what, what was it, uh, like $750 price point? It'd be a really good deal. Yeah, for sure. Dude, this is just like battle of the who can pull out the shotgun quicker, man. This whole game, man. Gonna be praying for his downfall. Oh Man. Dang, this guy on my team's going crazy. 21 and 12. I was wondering how we were actually doing okay. Oh man. Oh man. Two games of snipers lost. <laughs> yeah, let's see what CS2 can do. I mean, that game is more CPU bound, so maybe we'll get a better result. But maybe. right now, value for money, definitely with the desktop. But for a laptop, it's not awful. All right, guys, we are now loading into CS2. We are running these same medium settings we were before. We're gonna join the Terra Squad. And uh, yeah, I'll show you guys the settings just to verify here. Medium settings, we are running 1080p. And on this map, we're getting 100 plus FPS, no problems. Again, I think this this uh, game definitely is happy having a higher end CPU, like this 12th gen with the performance and efficiency cores, or efficient cores, one might say. But uh, yeah, getting 140 to 160 FPS. This is definitely not a bad experience. And it's not hitting the like two, 300 FPS we were on the high end PC. But if you, again, value portability, you're getting pretty good numbers here. The real question is, is it worth $900? In our opinion, no. But if you find one for around seven, seven fifty, dollars then it's a good deal. We just, it just seems like Target is very much a set it and forget it kind of place where that price is probably gonna stay the same until like a while from now where they may run a big discount on it. But as of right now, that's probably the price it's gonna stick with. And um, if you're going into a Target, just buyer beware. Be sure to price check stuff in other places. When your parents are like, I have a Target gift card for you, go buy something. Just, just make sure you're getting your money's worth. Target. Or just, just buy Amazon gift cards, smile. Oh, no scope. Oh! Oh, God! 
Oh God, again. Ah! Ah! <laughs> nice, easy. Easy kill clap. And that is it. But hey, obviously, objectively, the desktop is better. As a laptop, this is okay. I will say the target experience was a little rough, and we'll talk about that at the end. If we didn't have a very special friend, Kevin, there, I don't know if we would have even ended up with a laptop like this. But um, yeah, Target versus Walmart, we'll, we'll talk about the results. Okay guys, we just got done benchmarking both of these and obviously this is kind of a weird comparison, but I think we have a clear winner. Yeah, Walmart definitely worked better in terms of just being able to walk into our store the same day and find a gaming PC that we could buy. We did have to ask somebody to go get it. It wasn't a display model, but it was a better experience than Target. Shout out to Kevin though for helping us out, but uh, we definitely would have struggled to find this kind of well, gaming device if there wasn't somebody there to help us. Yeah, Target definitely does not have anything gaming on display. They don't really brag about anything gaming. I guess it's cool that they have the convenience of it. You might be able to go to your local Target if that's all you have and pick something like this up, but it is gonna come at a pretty hefty price. So yeah, let us know what you think of this series in the comment section down below. Obviously, we definitely believe Walmart's the winner, but what do you think about the Target shopping experience? And have you ever bought any PC hardware or just PCs in general from Target? Let us know in the comment section down below. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toastybros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace Goodbye. Out. So computers like these, or even these specifically, will be available at PCBros.Tech, and they come with their own one-year warranty with us. PCBros.Tech, gaming PCs, gaming laptops, and so much more. Use code TOSTYBROS200 to check out the same 2% of your next purchase. See you guys later. Bye-bye.